Hi again guys, I'm Melissa here and in today's video I'll be showing you the brand new Corsair Guitar Pro. So this mouse is a completely wireless mouse and it features the Slipstream technology and also as well can be connected via low latency Bluetooth. It has a very affordable price for a wireless mouse coming in at £44.99 so let's get it unboxed and check it out. Inside of the box you do get the quick start guides for the product as well as a AA alkaline battery. The dimensions of it come in at only 115.8mm in length by 64.2mm in width by 37.8mm in height and it only weighs 96 grams. Underneath the top cover is where the USB 2.0 Type A wireless receiver is to help you get connected to your PC or laptop. So straight off the bat, this mouse is incredibly small and very lightweight, um, which will help with faster movements and your mouse flicks when you're in-game. In terms of its looks, it's definitely had a very aesthetically pleasing upgrade in comparison to the original Qatar Wired mouse. It now has a much more subtle, sleek gamer design in my opinion, having the black plastic all over instead of having the odd grey sections added. It features individual left and right panels for the click buttons, two extra programmable buttons on the left hand side and the clickable mouse wheel, giving you a total of six programmable buttons. And this time the clickable mouse wheel is nicely placed in its own concave section in between the main mouse buttons. This for me makes it a lot more comfortable when using the scroll wheel because it means that my middle finger isn't too raised in comparison to the other fingers when using the mouse as a whole. The DPI button is smaller too and actually is the same level as the left and right mouse button so you can avoid any accidental DPI changes there. It also is a really good distance from the DPI to the mouse wheel which is great meaning that you're not straining your finger too much in order to reach the mouse wheel from the DPI button and just generally is a lot more comfortable for you. The sides of the mouse have texturized plastic grips Personally I do prefer rubberized textured grips because when it comes to plastic if you um, let out a lot of heat or moisture when you're playing games or anything uh, you can still find that your fingers do slip off the sides unfortunately um, with the rubberized textured grips I feel like you've just got a lot more control and just generally you can grip on a lot better. Removing the top cover, you do have a AA battery slot and a place to store the wireless receiver which keeps it safe if you're travelling or when the mouse is not in use. With RGB, there is only one zone which is the multi-purpose LED indicator and this is located just underneath the DPI button. Whilst you can't actually go ahead and change any of the lighting effects or do any fancy funky features in terms of the RGB aspects of the mouse, you can actually change the DPI indicator's colours to your preferred settings if you choose to. And with this multi-purpose indicator, it does also act as a power status, a battery and a wireless status indicator too. At the bottom of the mouse is where the power and wireless mode switch is and to help with manoeuvrability on surfaces it does have polytetrafluoroethylene or much more easily known as PTFE mouse pads. When it comes to the connectivity options of it it's actually really great because you kind of get a, a two-in-one mouse here so let's say you wanted to use the USB wireless receiver on your gaming PC and have the slipstream wireless mode active there if you also have a Bluetooth 4.0 or higher enabled laptop, let's say, you can actually go ahead and connect the mouse to your laptop and then just change the switch on the bottom. So if you're playing games on your PC, you can just use the same mouse but change the, the switch on the bottom to the wireless mode. Or if you then have work to do on your laptop, you can just change the mode over to Bluetooth. So you kind of get two mice in one here, so happy days. Now moving on to the battery and the overall Qatar Pro performance. First of all, I'm going to say I'm not really a massive fan when it comes to using a AA battery in peripherals. I just find that if you don't have any batteries spare lying around or you don't manage to pull one from a remote or find one in the junk drawer or anything, then you're kind of stuck 
without a battery until you do manage to find one hopefully or you actually go out and buy a replacement so if your battery runs out then it's ran out until you've got that sorted where I feel that if you had a cable to charge the battery I just feel that you have a lot more peace of mind because at least then you know you're definitely gonna be able to charge the mouse so you're not like ruining any game time which is you know which everyone wants to go and play games all the time um, but one thing I will mention when it comes to the disposable batteries is the fact that they do last a lot longer than if you were to just use um, a cable to charge like a lithium battery this one lasts up to 135 hours that's with the uh, LED lights active obviously from the DPI and whatnot so it does last a very very long time it's just unfortunate that when it is gonna run out you're gonna have to find a new battery but I guess you could just stock up on batteries and that's not really an issue but again that's my personal preference when it comes to uh, batteries in peripherals I just prefer the option to be able to charge them instead of having to rummage around the house and worry that I'm not gonna find one and miss out on game time to help prolong the battery life efficiently, there are two different power modes to choose from. The first is the factory default setting known as performance, which is recommended for gaming, and it does go into sleep mode after two minutes of being idle. The other mode is power saving, and actually goes to sleep after 10 seconds of being idle, preserving battery life when you don't need the max performance. And you can adjust your sleep mode timer to best suit your needs. With its performance, it definitely does well. It has a PMW332 optical sensor with DPI from 200 to 10,000 in 100 DPI steps. When using it in my FPS games or RPG games, I felt that it was very precise and accurate and the mouse acceleration was pretty spot on to be honest. I found that there was no lagging or there was no kind of stuttering from when I was moving my mouse too fast. If you enjoy a small lightweight mouse then overall it is very comfortable and very smooth to use. Um, I would just say though that I couldn't personally get to grips with the palm grip of using it. So my middle finger would have to kind of come back too much and I felt that it was a bit strenuous over time and generally I had to go ahead and move my entire hand position in order to reach these buttons. So I managed to kind of mix the fingertip and the claw grip um, for the mouse and actually access all the buttons easily and just generally it felt a lot more comfortable which was brilliant but unfortunately it just it strained my fingers too much in order to actually reach any of those buttons. Quickly going through Corsair's IQ software and what this mouse has to offer customization wise it has six programmable buttons which you can change via the actions tab. DPI can be customized to your preference as well as a personalized touch with the DPI LED options. In the settings tab, you have access to your LED brightness and the USB report rate. You can check for firmware updates, adjust the sleep mode timer, enable battery gauge and taskbar and initiate wireless receiver pairing. So overall, I am really impressed with the Qatar Pro wireless mouse. Um, I definitely think that the battery life is really good. Whilst yes, it does use that disposable AA battery, um, I think I've used it for the past couple of days now and it's only dropped by like 1% which is brilliant because the power mode is obviously active when I'm not using it and generally it goes into sleep mode which saves the battery overall anyway so that's really really great. The look of it has definitely had a beautiful upgrade taking away the odd grey parts of it and generally with the fact it being wireless as well it removes any of those ugly wires on desks so it definitely looks really clean and tidy in a work station or a gaming station too. And personally, I do think it's a very affordable um, option when it comes to wireless mice, which is brilliant again, because you're not having to spend too much on something that is wireless when you've got a really good contender here. That is it from this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do have a Discord channel and we also have a merch store too. So if you want to go and check out those links, they'll be in the description below. Thanks guys, have an awesome day and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.